earth-shattering news today, literally earth-shattering. With the Democratic convention on fire night after night, Trump decided to stop trying to fight fire with fire and went in the opposite direction. In a move designed to rescue his absolutely floundering campaign, Donald Trump has single-handedly solved the climate crisis. This is confirmed by Caltech, MIT, and surprisingly, the Vatican. With the help of Fox News, Donald Trump is now responsible for hell freezing over. Yes, that's right. The summer heat dome has disappeared for a reason. Donald Trump told a lie so big and so obvious that even Fox News couldn't handle it and had to correct him. We're going to show Fox, for the first time in its history, correct Donald Trump for something he said. But first, it's worth noting that the success of the Harris-Walls campaign is such that Trump's mental decline is accelerating. Now, we're all used to his word salad approach of saying a lot so that no one notices he's saying nothing. But now that he's under threat of going to jail when he loses, Trump has gone to full-fledged verbal diarrhea, showing up on Fox for his regular ego stroking and messaging of the week. Trump made clear how bad he's losing it by going back to one of his favorite debate and press conference techniques, the fire hose of falsehood technique, also known as the gish gallop. The latter is more appropriate here because Trump went through a litany of accusations so fast and so disconnected that it was impossible to keep up, to keep coherent and keep track, let alone respond to any of his ridiculous claims. Take a look. So this is your chance to set the record straight. What's your response? Well, first of all, he's a total lightweight and he shouldn't be even having any access to possibly being president. The guy, he's uh, been a terrible governor. They've had nothing but problems in their state. Uh, He has no capability. They call him coach. He's a a semi-coach. If he coached some football for a little while, this guy is a lightweight and he shouldn't have. Tim Walz was a semi-coach. Trump is trying to say that Tim Walz was only an assistant coach. Yeah, so what? That's still a heck of a lot more coaching than Trump ever did, which is none. And who is Trump to judge anyone's football acumen? Trump is single-handedly responsible for destroying the USFL when he strong-armed the other owners into competing directly with the NFL. Another business failure by Mr. Art of the deal. So into that mix of the gish gallop, Trump trotted out another lie that he's been circulating in the last week. The lie he told is that Joe Biden sent Kamala Harris to meet with Vladimir Putin and that she talked with him just days before Putin invaded Ukraine. That lie is so huge, so easily verifiable, and so pathetic that even Fox News couldn't let it go by. Watch. Mr. President, you got 75 days to, uh, to win or to lose. If you win, it would cap the greatest comeback in American political history. Best of luck. Thank you so much. Well, Brian, if I might say, you know, we're leading in the polls and we're out there working hard. You mentioned that, uh, you know, RFK would be the biggest thing. I said, well, we made uh, making big speeches every day. I'm going to make another one. So we're really out there. But we're leading in the polls and we're going to continue and we're going to win. November 5th is the most important day in the history of our country. Remember that. And early voting starts in a couple of weeks. And early voting starts in a couple of weeks. That's right. Exactly. All right. It's going to be exciting. Mr. President. President. We did Thank reach you out. all very much. Thank you. Thank you. We did Thank reach you. out to Harris and Waltz, to their team, their campaign, to ask them to join us. We ask them every day, and we have not heard back. 
Uh, yeah, and just as a, a quick clarification, we don't have confirmation that uh, the vice president went to Russia to meet with Vladimir Putin. I know she went over to Europe right before the, uh, the incursion when Russia invaded Ukraine, and it's a war that's still going on right now. I've heard, I've heard that said a lot. You don't have confirmation that that's true? No, I don't, I don't think that, I don't know if the vice president ever met uh, Vladimir Putin. Trump is being corrected here by Brian Kilmeade. Brian is obviously reading polls and knows he has a job to save. And how ridiculous is it that another Fox host tries to subtly lend credence to it? I've heard that a lot. Yes, you've heard that a lot from Donald Trump. First, a lawsuit costing hundreds of millions of dollars, and now the near collapse of the Trump campaign. Fox hosts are trying to figure out what side to land on and how to save their careers. Because if Megyn Kelly has taught them anything, it's that there's no future after Fox. And speaking of the future, let's talk Trump's campaign. Trump, best stick a fork in it because your campaign is done. I'm Anthony Vincent Gallo for Occupied Democrats.